What's up, guys? Hey, I'm going to explain to you Bass Forecast. Um, I've had a lot of questions about this app and how it works, how I use it, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So let's dive into it. Uh, this is Bass Forecast. Welcome. So at the top, we've got a menu. If we click in this top where it says 86 clouds and sun, that's like the weather. It's pulled straight from AccuWeather.com. So um, we've got a special partnership with AccuWeather, and so we're able to get the, the data directly from them. Uh, you got, you know, sunshine, uh, temperature, wind direction, speed, cloud cover, UV index, precipitation chances, uh, pressure for barometric. We got all that stuff. We got the night, what's going on tonight. We got a lot of stuff going on here. We can view the radar. Um, all right. So we go back to the main screen and um, we've got this bite rating. Now, the way the bite rating works, okay, that's the biggest question is how do you all figure up a bite rating? Well, there are literally a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of factors that I don't even know because it's kind of pr proprietary. But um, basically, it's biologically calculated to the uh, specific biology of a bass. Okay, so we're targeting bass right here, right? So the, the feeding, the feeding uh, psychology behind this, has it pulls in weather data. It pulls in uh, solar and lunar data. So we call that so lunar. And, um, and then, you know, current GPS specific weather. Okay, and we all know weather affects the fishing, right? Okay, so imagine that you've got a cold front just came through and the, the, the bite just turns completely off the next day. It's horrible. It's like post front day. Well, you would see the bite rating be like a one, two, three, you know, something really low. Now, today it's a 6.9. It's, it's rare. I'm sorry, it's fair. So, the way this works, you're going to click up top, like where it says Norman. Okay, we're going to pick a location. Now, I can set my current location, but if you're looking at a, a place that you're wanting to go to, like a lake you love, well, I'm going to go ahead and type in Norman, Oklahoma, because that's where I'm at, but that's where I'm going to fish, maybe. Then I'm going to type the name of the lake just so I remember it. Okay, dirty bird. Tag it. At the bottom, hit confirm. This is going to pull up the data specific to Norman, Oklahoma. Now, this is right now data, okay? So, the bite rating and window, if I click the bite rating, that's going to give me a major feeding time. It's going to give me a minor feeding time, right? Two different times of the day. You know, you got one during the day, one at night. It's because it's like the moon overhead and the moon underfoot. It's all about how the moon affects, uh, and there's more to it than that, but that's that's the basic. And then there's some weatherology in that. And there's, you know, you got barometric pressure I and mean, all kinds of stuff that factors into this thing. So, uh, so here in the major feeding times, you got 8.43 a.m. to 10.45 a.m. This morning was a good feeding window. So you see the green windows, that's your major peak feeding windows. The yellow are the minor feeding windows. Okay, guys, I've noticed for some reason the bigger fish bite during the minor feeding times. That's Maybe that's just something I've noticed. I don't even know if it's, I mean, it, it's just a pattern. You know how we, we do a fishing, we pattern. So um, so that's, that's you, I've used this thing for two years, okay? I use it literally every day I go fishing. I check this thing so I can get an edge or an advantage on what the fish are going to do, okay? So the best thing about this app is planning, Okay. Hey, I fish a lot, almost every day of the week sometimes, but I actually have to work too. I got to make a living. I got to I got to pay the bills. So, uh the way I balance my fishing uh career uh program, whatever you want to call it, with uh regular work is a lot of times I'll just cut out the days that aren't going to be worth a flip because if I'm trying to get video or do something for media, I want to fish on the best days. And that's just that's just the way it is, right? You want to get big fish, you got to pick good times to go, right? Think about if you're a busy guy, uh, you have a job, maybe you got two days off a week, uh, Saturday, Sunday, and you want to plan your, your, or maybe you can get two days during the week, but you just got to, you know, plan around it. This 10 day feature on the only available on the premium version. Okay. That's why I use the premium. Look at this. So I was going through here and I'm checking what it's going to be like today. Okay. 6.9 is a pretty good day. Seven's going to be good. Tomorrow, no, I swept to the right. All you gotta do is grab it by the by the little six point nine rating there and just swap to the right. It's gonna bring up Friday, May twenty fifth, right? That's a nine point four. It's it's nine point four out of ten. Okay, according to Bass Forecast, it's gonna be an epic day to fish. Now I can tell you, I caught my ten pounder during an eight point four rated day. So I mean nine point four. There's big fish. You guys watch your and it's funny because I watch Facebook and I look at the weather around and all this stuff and I see that when the the bite that I'm getting on bass forecast correlates a lot with how people catch on on facebook so it's crazy you'll see big fish caught this weekend hands down okay uh we got a feeding window tomorrow between 9 30 a.m and 11 32 a.m and we got one between 3 43 a.m and 4 43 for the minor i'm not going to fish that one but i may fish four o'clock to five o'clock um and check that window that's a good window to, to be fishing in I, like i said i love the minor feeding windows are my favorite
Okay. Now I'm going to go forward to Saturday. So what that's going to be like, wow, we got another 9.1 rated day. That's outstanding. Okay. Same deal. I'm fishing Saturday as well. Sunday, that's a 5.3. Okay. I ain't worried about it. It's going to be hot. I mean, 93 degrees. What are we doing? Yeah, 93. It's going to be hot days all weekend. So Sunday's definitely a church slash rest day, obviously. But we can see 10 days in the advance. And there you go. So notice how the, the bot windows change based on. So this tells you the times of day. I mean, look at that. The, the, the times adjust based on the all the factors that Bass Forecast is tracking. So uh, this is a key to like, kind of like the old astro charts that you would get in the magazines. But problem with those charts is they're specific to a time zone. And so it might be off by an hour. Bass Forecast is calculating all this stuff based on your specific location. Look, this is all we do. This is all that bass forecast does is track location specific feeding based on the biology of a bass. Period. We're not, you know, building fishing rods and lures and stuff. We are predicting weather. That's it. We're constantly check, tracking and measuring and finding ways to update and improve the algorithm. But right now, it's pretty spot on. Uh, we did a uh, a catch study with James Caldemeyer out of Lake Fork. We did it for like six months. All we did, we did, he didn't use the app. What he did was he can, he gave us catch data every day for six months. What we we're able to find out is during those peak feeding windows, we had like 1.68 times more um, uh, catch rate per person per man per hour versus during non-peak feeding times. And then on days where uh, where it's like epic and stuff like that. It's just stupid, right? It's just stupid. So anyway, that's how I use Bass Forecast. I use it to kind of give me an idea mentally to prepare because if this was a one-rated day and I was stupid enough to go fishing, you better believe I won't throw anything over eight-pound test. I'm going to drag something really slow and try to get a bass that's just coming by looking for an easy meal because, and think about it, you know, think in terms of high barometric pressure, right? If the pressure's really high. We've got bluebird sky. The fish aren't, aren't biting, right? That's the deal. I'd be willing to bet that during that 9.4 rated day, let's see what it says on the on the barometer. Yeah, the pressure's dropping. You see that? So it's it's not going to be a, so. I mean, and that's not the only factor, guys. We're not just hey, this is what the barometer's doing. There's a lot of factors go into this, but that's just an example we can all relate to. So anyway, that's best forecast. That's how I use it. I've used it for two years. When I was at the Arkansas River uh, in that tournament I won, I had some fish located, so I just stayed put and waited for those last two or three bites because I knew that, feet, that peak feeding window was coming up, and I knew that I had to be there for that or I might end up missing the fish. So anyway, it absolutely changes the way I fish. Um, it's showing in my tournament results lately, and it's showing uh, just – and when I go, so if you're a guy, you don't have time to go fishing every day and figure out what they're doing and just whatever. If you're, you're just wanting to get the cherry pick the very best days to go fishing based on the weather, you know, you're going to tell your wife, Hey, I need to do honeydews during the week. Cause I'm going fishing Saturday. Nothing you can do to stop me. This is how you do it. Okay. Bass forecast, check it out. It's an amazing app. Try that premium. You can try it for 60 days. I've had it for two years, guys. I'm sponsored by bass forecast. I still pay for the premium version. Why? Because it's it's just they they don't have a way to give me. They could reimburse me or something. But why? It's like nine bucks. Okay, it's nine bucks, and you support a great company that's just trying to help us catch more fish. It's not a this isn't a four thousand dollar graph on your boat. It's a ten dollar little app. Try it out for sixty days. If you don't like it, delete that sucker and let me know. But I got news for you. I've been using this for uh, what we say two years. Yeah, a little over two years now. Probably about two and a half.